Good day ladies and gentlemen, this is Professor Ma. Today Professor Ma will explain the most likely reason that Tan Chuan Jin had the affair with Cheng Li Wei. Yesterday, in my video titled, Breaking News, Speaker Tan Chuan Jin and MP Cheng Li Wei resigned due to inappropriate relationship. Professor Ma had mentioned that, Professor Ma thinks that the recent events involving Shunmigam, Balakrishnan, Ice Warren and now Tan Chuan Jin are possible indications that Tharman was shielding these people. Many viewers would agree with Professor Ma about the first three but would be wondering why Tharman was shielding Tan Chuan Jin. In this video, Professor Ma will explain why Tharman might be shielding Tan Chuan Jin, and also provide suggestions as to the reasons behind PM. Li's delay in sacking Tan Chuan Jin. To begin, we first need to understand that Tan Chuan Jin was effectively demoted in 2017. Tan Chuan Jin was Minister for Manpower between 2012 and 2015, and Minister for Social and Family Development between 2015 and 2017, before his appointment as Speaker of Parliament in 2017. The key point to note is that the Speaker of Parliament is a part-time job. Why is it a part-time job? This is because Parliament does not convene every working day. In fact, Parliament convenes less than half the year. That is why members of Parliament are considered part-timers as well and are able to hold full-time jobs elsewhere. When Tan Chuan Jin was appointed Speaker of Parliament, his salary dropped from the more than 1 million Singapore dollars per year that he was receiving as Minister for Social and Family Development to the $550,000 per year that he received as Speaker of Parliament. That means that his salary would have dropped by half. At this juncture, Professor Ma would like to point out that Tan Chuan Jin was once considered a high flyer and was a possible candidate for Prime Minister together with Heng Sui Keat and Chan Chun Singh. Therefore, the effective demotion from full-time minister to part-time Speaker of Parliament must have been a blow to Tan Chuan Jin. The worst part of it was that Tan Chuan Jin could not even openly complain about it since his appointment as Speaker of Parliament was seen as a sort of promotion given that Speaker of Parliament is second in the line of succession for the office of President of Singapore. Should the President's office be vacant, and the Chairman of the Council of Presidential Advisors is unable to take up the role, the Speaker will assume the duties of the President until a new President is elected. In terms of state protocol, the Speaker sits at the same level as the Chief Justice of Singapore. As such, Tan Chuan Jin would have found solace in the company of Cheng Li Wei, who as fellow Member of Parliament, would have understood his difficulties. Please note that Professor Ma is not condoning what Tan Chuan Jin did. Prime Minister Li and Senior Minister Tharman would have understood that Tan Chuan Jin had suffered a big setback. This is probably why Tharman would have shielded Tan Chuan Jin. It would also explain why Prime Minister Li gave Tan Chuan Jin so much leeway, pun unintended. At this juncture, Professor Ma would like to suggest someone who is able to replace Tan Chuan Jin as Speaker of Parliament. This is none other than President Halima. After all, she was Speaker of Parliament before she became President. Since the Speaker of Parliament is a part-time job, it would also enable President Halima to enjoy semi-retirement. Professor Ma thinks that Prime Minister Li also had this in mind when he did not sack Tan Chuan Jin in February 2023. The main reason for the six-month delay was probably that Prime Minister Li was cognizant that the affair was a coping mechanism for the setback suffered by Tan Chuan Jin but the availability of President Halima to fill the position of Speaker after she steps down as President would have been one of the factors. In subsequent videos, Professor Ma will explain more aspects of life. In the meantime, please help by liking and by subscribing. Thank you.